what about the role of statins in controlling heart disease and cholesterol? What are the ill effects? Are there some ill effects? This is uh, probably the most controversial uh, field of medicine, so. mm -hmm. um, particularly since statin drugs are the biggest money makers of all, all time. Of all time. So they're pushing them in, in now into developing countries as well. Uh, over the years they have measured cholesterol levels, they consider them normal, that like 200 um, was considered normal, they're trying to push it down. Every couple of years they adjust the cholesterol levels. Uh, to lower levels, so that means you, overnight you suddenly have millions of more patients that require that were healthy people that suddenly the next day they're not healthy anymore because their level of cholesterol is higher okay. than they're supposed to. And uh, there is no science behind what is a normal cholesterol level. Uh, every day almost I get people that, uh, and there are studies to show that older people, let's say age 60 or older, mm -hmm. uh, to have 230 year old cholesterol is absolutely normal. And if you lower it, you put them at risk uh, for producing certain hormones in the body. And uh, your, your cardiovascular problems develop from lowering cholesterol. There are no studies to show that lowering the cholesterol is actually extremely damaging and can put you into the category of developing cancer. So you are, and heart disease by the way, because uh, the cholesterol is used as a stress hormone foremost of all. LDL, VLDL, mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. low density lipoproteins are basically stress hormones that go to an area of inflammation. When you have a, if you one cut your finger, mm -hmm. first hormone, one of the first hormones that go there is cholesterol. It helps with the sealing off, the, the, the stopping the bleeding, the stopping to heal the wound, uh, developing scar tissue. Yeah, That's to help. amazing. So it is a survival mechanism uh, when cholesterol goes to some areas. And if you lower the cholesterol, you put your risk of, of uh, not being able to heal yourself when there is damage, internal or external. So we need our cholesterol. We absolutely need it. Now there is a another factor to the cholesterol and that is the liver. If the liver, the liver is the cholesterol producing home, uh, organ number one. Mm -hmm. You can eat a pound of butter and raise your cholesterol by 0.1 percent. But if you are, you're not eating the pound of butter, your body can increase your cholesterol by 400 percent. If you're not eating butter. If you don't eat enough fat, your body will make more of cholesterol. Okay. If you don't, if you eat uh, you too much fat, your body will lower its production of cholesterol. So it works together with your diet. It's, it's a very you know, perfect uh, mechanism mm -hmm. that always makes sure you have the right amount of cholesterol given your unique requirements. If you have, um, if you're more prone to damage of blood vessels, your body will raise cholesterol not because the cholesterol is responsible for causing the problems to the blood vessel, it is in response to the damage of the blood vessel oh. that your body makes cholesterol. That's so, totally the opposite picture. Yes, that's why they never ever proved that cholesterol causes heart disease. You can never show, you can show a correlation mm -hmm. that if you have heart disease and they find high cholesterol, they say, well, the two things, you know, this is causing this, but that correlation, correlation in science, in, you know, if you do medical mm -hmm. research, is never showing that it is a causal relationship. Cholesterol doesn't cause heart disease. Cholesterol protects against heart disease. We got it wrong the other, other way around. So when you lower cholesterol with statins, what you're doing is you are impairing the body's healing mechanism. Uh, you're setting yourself up for more trouble you are causing problems to the liver. The liver uses cholesterol to manufacture bile. Mm -hmm. Bile is needed to digest your food. You interfere with the digestive process, which is responsible for nourishing every cell in your body. Mm -hmm. You can cause harm to every part of the body by taking statins because you interfere with the body's digestive ability. And that's why statins are known to cause liver damage Many doctors are saying, well, you have to first find out whether you have a liver problem, but how do you diagnose liver problems? The liver can function um, perfectly normally at 38% uh, of its capacity 
which mm-hmm. is no, which re- really means the liver is dysfunctional okay. to its large part. But you don't notice that your ALS and AST uh, enzyme values made perfectly normal. They say no problem. We give you statins. Now you take the statins, you can go you know, develop liver failure, liver damage, severe irreparable liver damage when you take those statins because you don't know at what capacity your liver is. Okay. You, do, you may uh, be at 40% and it's perfectly normal. It seems mm-hmm. to be perfectly normal, but in reality it's totally abnormal. Your liver is supposed to function 100% well. And what uh, causes uh, you know, a lot of the stones in the liver are actually the statins mm-hmm. or other medications they all produce what is known as intrahepatic gallstones, as Johns Hopkins University terms it. Doctors should study at, at the Johns Hopkins. They should learn what uh, intrahepatic gallstones are, because mm-hmm. nobody ever talks about them. Well, you know, they give you the, the blood test and they show that your cholesterol is high, so they just automatically prescribe statins. Yes, as if the cholesterol is the culprit. Um, yes. And if you look at the uh, Lipidor website, Mm-hmm. Um, it says very clearly, if you take Lipitor, this does not prevent Lipitor. Taking Lipitor does not prevent or reduce your risk of heart disease. So why do you take a dangerous, potentially dangerous drug for something that it cannot promise it's going to do for you? Re- that means reducing your risk of heart disease, because there is no evidence that cholesterol, high cholesterol, increases your risk. High cholesterol may be there mm-hmm. to to deal with the damage. That's why you have both. You already have a heart problem, and the cholesterol is helping to minimize the the damage from the heart problem. But to say high cholesterol causes the heart problem, that is so far fetched. That's how science you know, can manipulate things simply by seeing it the way they want to see it, mm-hmm. not the way it really is. And statins are extremely profitable. They are the biggest money maker of all time. Okay. And they're expensive. They they cost to make a couple of cents to make them, and they sell them you know for in certain statins for hundreds of dollars a, a month. Mm-hmm. 